construction, caution tape, and displaced dining are just three of the temporary changes that students must deal with during the dining hall renovations. Although dining services is promising fresher food and a better dining atmosphere, one part of their plan is causing quite a stir. Beginning fall 2006, all students on and off campus will be required to have a meal plan. I mean, I think requiring it is kind of stupid. It seems like sort of a sleazy ploy to get money. With Furman's food service provider paying for four-fifths of the renovation, money is not the cause of the meal plan changes. We work closely with the university um, in this whole project, and um, in talking with the university, they wanted to create a community. They want to make sure that students are part of the university, that you just don't go back to your resident hall and eat. So what's the cost of being a part of this community? For upperclassmen, the minimum price is a $1,600 meal plan for 60 meals per term. Freshmen will spend more than twice that for an unlimited plan. Meals may only be redeemed in the dining hall, but Palo Points are still valuable in all campus restaurants, including the latest edition. Behind this orange fence is the future site of the Einstein Bagel Company. In addition to the restaurant, dining hall lobby renovations will include indoor and outdoor seating, renovated restrooms, an accessible elevator, a television, a gas fireplace, and wireless internet throughout. Although next year's menu offers many changes, you can expect old favorites like chicken fingers, quesadillas, and those chocolate chip cookies that everyone seems to love. For Nightly News, this is Galen Collins reporting.